Hello, this is Paula and I'm doing my two week post-op. Uh, I went to, um, had a very busy week this week and I went to go see both my diabetes doctor and my lap band doctor. Um, the, um, but before I even kind of go into the recap, I just kind of want to share my flowers. These are my flowers from my husband um, that he got me for the hospital. They're pr real beautiful. They're um, pink carnations and orange carnate or yellow carnations with baby's breath. And you know, this is two weeks going on three weeks, and they're still blooming. They're just absolutely gorgeous. And um, so I, I wanted to share those with you. I did um, go to the di diabetes doctor this week and I informed him that um, of the challenges that I was encountering, I guess, with the liver shrinking phase and that um, right after surgery I just stopped taking my insulin, stopped taking my metformin, but that I uh, actually monitored my blood sugars, you know, pretty regularly, like every three or four hours and that I really didn't see any high highs or lows. And so he was okay with that. He was okay that I didn't do it. Um, he did do lab work, um, but for the most part, he um, he was okay. And so I'm happy about that. I will have to continue seeing him for a little while, just because um, even though my diet uh, my diet has changed a lot over um, as a result of getting the surgery there is a possibility that I could end up taking, continuing to take my medications and or have a need for diabetic medications. So he doesn't want me to lose focus with that. Uh, I will have to continue taking blood pressure medicine and cholesterol medicine, but that's okay. At least we're on a path that maybe I can start eliminating some of these things. I um, went to my uh, surgeon's office um, on Thursday and according to their scales I've lost 10 pounds. Uh, their scales actually are 5 pounds different than my scales so it was quite refreshing to see the 10 pounds loss versus the 5 pounds loss and the date that they used for my weigh-in was the date prior, just prior to surgery, my visit prior to surgery. So it was actually I guess um, the whole liver shrinking phase um, and then the two weeks post off. So really, it was basically four weeks. And um, I guess I really didn't do too much damage, and uh, my body's going to be slow at getting rid of it. But I think a lot of it had to do with um, just trying to compensate for my sugar levels just prior to surgery with that liver shrinking phase, because it just played havoc on my system. And um, But she, she, the doctor assured me that it was all okay. I will go back to see them for another follow-up in two weeks and then the week after that so it will be three weeks before I get my first bill and the, my goals for the next two weeks are to increase my protein intake and proportion size um, with solid foods right now I'm kind of relying a little um, more on my um, liquids than I am on my proteins and I'm doing that just because I don't feel like I'm um, getting enough protein and so I'm relying more on that and I need to I need to change that I need to change to get ready for when I get my fills um, and also a word of advice that I received that is really good advice is that I should probably have more prepared type products uh, readily available so that when I do feel this urge to kind of um, eat something that I eat something that I can really have and um, not and then be very careful about it so um, I'll be working on that and the other thing that I need to do is to um, I already said that I already talked about my um, eliminating the liquids I need to actually focus more on the actual meal itself so uh, for example I will have to boil eggs like at the beginning of the week and then um, just grab a couple boiled eggs before, you know, as I'm leaving out the door and eat boiled eggs for lunch. And then probably even think about eating a little bit later in the morning so that the time between breakfast and lunch, you know, it's really only like three or four hours, um, but yet the time from lunch to dinner is pretty long stretch. So I'm going to change my hours a little bit so that it allows me to space out 
when I'm getting food so that I'm not nearly as hungry at night because at night seems to be my downfall. Uh, let's see. Another thing that my goal for next week and the following week is going to be to do um, uh, to take really good care of my grandson because my grandson, um, his mother is getting surgery. Um, my grandson was born on the 14th of February and he has a lot of health conditions. He was actually intubated for three weeks um, right after his birth and his mother was very sick with um, Graves disease and hyperthyroid. And so um, her pregnancy was very rough and his birth was very rough. Um, we're very lucky to have him and um, he's doing really, really well. But she's, um, my daughter's actually going to have um, the goiter that has been causing so much problems, um, so many problems, have it removed. And so um, that'll happen tomorrow. And um, so I'll actually be giving him all his medications and um, trying to, which is going to be every two or three hours, so that'll keep me pretty busy. And I think what I'm going to do is take advantage of that time and actually take the baby out for walks. And so every day go out for a walk. So that'll be my goal for um, this next week or two. And uh, that's all for um, for this journal entry, and I guess I'll report again in two weeks.